The proprietary Komatsu hybrid system consists of an electric swing motor generator, a generator motor, an inverter, and a capacitor. It's the basis for both the HB205 and 215LC-1 hybrid hydraulic excavators. In addition to the hybridization, a new engine control system improves low-speed operation, enabling the reduction of carbon dioxide emissions and fuel costs compared to conventional models. The HB205 and 215LC-1 save on fuel by about 25% compared to the PC200 and 200LC-8 on the average, and meet US EPA Tier 3 and EU Stage 3A emission standards. The system recovers kinetic energy as electrical energy during swing braking. This energy is stored in the capacitor and is used to drive the swing motor and to assist engine acceleration. The HB 205 and 215 LC-1 feature the latest fuel consumption reduction technologies. As a result, they have some unique operational behaviors that, for some people, confer a different operational feel compared to conventional models. This video will show the differences in features and operational characteristics to supplement our reference material, what we call the product bulletin. We hope you understand these characteristics and can explain them during sales negotiations. Hybrid excavators differ from the PC200 and 200LC-8 in terms of operational characteristics, mainly for two reasons. With acceleration assist from the generator motor, the HB205 and 215LC-1 operate at a lower engine speed than the PC200 and 200LC-8. While the PC200 and 200LC-8 use a hydraulic motor for swing, the HB205 and 215LC-1 use an electric motor, which may be the cause of the different operational feel that some operators mention. Let's take a look at the operational behavior of the HB205-1 and the differences relative to the PC200-8 as well. Let's compare the engine speed when idling. This is the PC200-8. The engine drives a hydraulic pump. To ensure quick startup, auto deceleration is set for an engine speed of about 1,400 RPM, even during idling. This is the HB205-1. Auto deceleration is set for an engine speed of about 700 RPM, half that in the case of the PC200-8, which reduces fuel consumption. After beginning operation, startup is quick, even if the idling speed is slow, since the motor generator assists acceleration. As we mentioned, the auto deceleration engine speed of the HB205-1 is set to about half that of the PC200-8, but occasionally the engine speed increases from 700 to 1150 RPM for about 20 seconds. This is because stored electrical energy is depleted gradually, even when the electric motor or generator are not operating so the capacitor must recharge automatically when voltage drops below a certain level. This feature prevents depletion of electrical energy in the capacitor, even when there is not enough swing to charge it. Let's now explore engine speed changes during startup in the context of a leveling work case. This is the PC200-8. The PC200-8 engine idles at about 1,400 RPM during auto deceleration so as to be ready for quick startup. On startup, the engine speed rises temporarily to about 2,050 RPM, 
and then drops to 1,800 RPM depending on the workload. This is the HB205-1. The HB205-1 engine idles at about 700 RPM during auto deceleration. On startup, the engine accelerates to about 1,800 RPM depending on the workload. The engine speed increases from the lower range, but the startups are quick enough because the generator motor assists the engine acceleration. Operational speeds are nearly the same for both models. Still, engine speed increase is greater with the HP205-1. With the engine acceleration assist by the generator motor, the HB205-1 can make a quick startup even during auto deceleration. This is how the HB205-1 reduces fuel consumption. As you can see on the graph, the engine speed of the HB205-1 is very low about 700 RPM when idling. So the relative increase in engine speed at the beginning of operation is greater than with the PC200-8. As a result of this, the exhaust of the HB205-1 is sometimes momentarily darker than with the PC200-8. However, this also happens with an ordinary engine start and is still within the permissible range for emissions regulations. We'll now look at the combined operations. Here we'll explain the operations in power mode. Let's see the differences between the HB205-1 and the PC200-8 in an example of a combined operation that we call hoist swinging in which the upper structure swings as the boom is raised. Let's start with the PC200-8. This graph shows bucket height during the operation. This graph shows engine speed. Now for the HB205-1. This graph shows bucket height during the operation. And this graph shows engine speed. This shows energy flow between hybrid components during this operation. There's no big difference in movement during this combined operation between both models. From the graph, you can see how the bucket rises. But engine speeds differ, as you see on the screen. As you can see, movements of the upper structure and boom are nearly the same. But customers sometimes point out that the HP 205-1 boom raises a little bit more slowly than the PC200-8. The operators feel that way because the engine speed of the HB205-1 is lower than the PC200-8 at the beginning of the operation. Listen to what the operators say first, then please explain there is no big difference in the boom raising performance between both models. But while operational speeds are nearly the same, some customers claim that they cannot get used to operability differences. We have added an adjustment function. It can adjust the swing startup speed relative to the boom raising speed according to operator preferences. Our service people can make this adjustment after you have consulted with customers and ensured that this is what they want.
Let's see the differences between the HB205-1 and PC200-8 in an example of a combined operation that we call downswing operation, in which the upper structure swings as the boom lowers. We'll start with the PC200-8. The downswing is heavy duty work for the engine of the PC200-8 because it uses hydraulic energy for swing. When the downswing is complete, the PC200-8 increases engine speed to maximum in preparation for the next operation. The downswing is lighter work for the HB205-1 because it uses electrical energy for swing. So the HB205-1 reduces fuel consumption by keeping engine speed low. This is because the HB205-1 uses generator motor assist for engine acceleration so that it can quickly start doing heavy duty work. There's no big difference in movement during this combined operation between both models. But you can see from the graph that the engine speed increases for the PC200-8 and decreases for the HB205-1. Customers who are accustomed to the PC200-8 may initially find operational feel different, but actual operational behavior is identical. Please explain to the customers that there are no big differences in operational behavior between the HB205-1 and PC200-8. Let's now look at differences between the HB205-1 and the PC200-8 when an operation has been completed. When an operator releases the levers after an operation, the engine of the PC200-8 stands by for about 4 seconds at about 2,050 RPM in preparation for the next operation. If no operation is initiated during standby, the engine slows down to about 1,400 RPM. On the other hand, the HB205-1 engine stands by for about 4 seconds at about 1,250 RPM in preparation for the next operation. If nothing happens after 4 seconds standby, the engine slows down to about 700 RPM. Let's compare the engine speeds of the HB205-1 and PC200-8. The HB205-1 engine idles slower than the PC200-8, and this difference results in lower fuel consumption. Let's explore maneuverability in economy mode. Some customers say that the HB205-1 is less powerful than the PC200-8 for some operations. One reason can be the difference in factory settings for economy mode. In the case of the PC200-8, this is E0 mode, which can offer more power than the other economy settings. On the other hand, the factory setting for the HB205-1 is E3 mode, prioritizing lower fuel consumption. So the difference between economy mode factory settings can lead to a misunderstanding, that is, the HB205-1 is less powerful than the PC200-8 when operated in economy mode. When this is an issue for a customer, Please check first which modes they are using, and then make the optimum adjustment using modes E0 to E3, as described in section 3-73 of the Operation and Maintenance Manual. <laughs>